It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. And coming up in just a bit, tip-off will be live from Oakland as the Warriors go up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for Cleveland... 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome everyone to the Golden State. Oakland. Now it's headed down to David Aldridge State. Well guys, we know how dominant the Warriors are, but we also know that turnovers remain their Achilles heel. Now, Steve Kerr says... Sometimes the game comes too easy for our guys. They think they can do anything. We just have to keep it simple. The simple leads to the spectacular. And as the simple reporter, I send it back to the spectacular Kevin Harlan. DA, thank you. And by the way, you're in the Hall of Fame. We have two teams tonight, Doris, with a lot of experience between them. What type of game 
In your view, does that typically result in? Well, typically you see a very well-played game, very few turnovers from either side, a high level of execution on both the offensive and defensive ends, and sometimes it comes down to the little things. Who wins the 50-50 balls? Who goes to the free throw line more? When you're talking about two high-caliber, experienced teams, it's the little things that make a difference. Attention to detail. Well said. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. The forwards are Osman and Love. Sexton and Smith are the guards handle. And it's Thompson in at the five spot. And the rejection. By Cousins. Green passes to Thompson. Got it. Good job in the whole post. Listen, he's not going to limit himself to just long-range shooting. Clay Thompson uses his skill to get in the painted area as well. Pass to Thompson. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. And that's not the type of defense you want to play, right? You've got to make it more difficult than that. Layups are too easy. Curry with a wide-open look. Drops in the tray. He's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Smith kicks to Thompson. There's the dish to Sexton. Love outside. Cleveland moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Here's the teardrop. It's good. Sexton's got his first points in this one. You know, Crafty, it, it just capitalizing there on the floater. Give Sexton room to shoot that shot, and he's going to take it. Now, here's Green. Curry outside. Another three for Golden State. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Smith against Thompson. Smith dishes to Sexton. Curry with the steal. And now it's Green running. He can go all the way. And he comes up with the deuce. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. Cavaliers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Here's Osman. Pass to Sexton. It's good from long range. Sexton's got five now. I think one thing you think about when you talk about Steve Kerr is how much he has relished having an opportunity to coach an amazing collection of talent. He knows more perhaps than most that great players are required to be successful. That doesn't mean it's an easy job. You've got to manage expectations year after year. Impressive. Five straight makes. Love the play calling here. Smith the pass to Sexton. Love with the screen on Kerr. Sexton kicks to Smith. The screen from Thompson. The pass to Sexton. Five on the clock. Shoots over Curry. The shot by Sexton, no good. Just a little hesitation on that release, right? His timing looked a bit off. And Green gets it to go. Tenacity. It's the first word that comes to mind with Draymond Green. Is he the tallest power forward in the league? No. But can he score it? Yes. Now here's Love. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And Thompson kicks to Smith. Love with the screen on Thompson. Smith off the screen. Thompson, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Yeah, I think the activity level that Tristan Thompson plays with on missed shots is something every NBA player can learn from. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. And it's off from three-point range. And there's Sexton. That's good on the assist by Smith. He's got seven. 158 left here in the first quarter. Curry passes to Green. Back to Curry. Let's it go with a three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Oh, he'd like to have that one back. He'd almost never get that wide open a look. Sexton dishes to Love. They get the rebound. Smith against Thompson. Smith kicks to Osmond. It's a pick by Love. Moves back up. 
And it's Osman missing. Yeah, coming off that screen, wide open, just can't convert. Well, I think, Greg, that's exactly what you want. The screen was solid. The execution just fell a little bit short on the shot. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. The offensive prowess of Kevin Durant, we knew it even back in high school, but winning the NBA scoring title at age 21, Doris, that really sealed the deal. Yeah, in fact, Kevin, becoming the youngest player to ever win a scoring title, he's obviously gone on to do it multiple times, and to me, where he's really advanced is his ability to make plays for the teammates around him. Kevin Durant prides himself on affecting winning at both ends of the floor. For the Warriors. Bell is checked in for Draymond Green. Igudala comes in for Kevin Durant. Patrick McCaw, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. Clarkson passes to Corp. And uh, 101 left to play in the first quarter. Clarkson kicks to Corp. It's good from long range. Corver's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Well, this is the specialty of young Mr. Kyle Corver. He has made a living due to the fine shooting skills. Here's Cousins, swiped it away. Here's Hill. Here's Nance. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Boy, that's exactly how you have to play defense when he's driving the lane. You cannot give him any space. Cousins, no one around him. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Iguodala. Well, what a great look by Andre Iguodala. We know he's unselfish. If there's space for his guy, he's going to find him. Now, here's Clarkson. Defense is right there. The kick out to Hill. over Livingston. Well, this is the long reach of Sean Livingston. He is able to get into the space of shooters and really impede their ability to take a good shot. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. Warriors lead by five. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. the great Golden State Warrior scores. Draymond Green spoke about feeding the hot hand. I think there are times where one of the guys need to take more shots and sometimes where we can be a little bit too unselfish. You know, if one guy thinks, hey man, I'm taking too many shots, let me get someone else involved. But if you got it going, we all want you to shoot. Yeah, why not? Green knows that, Greg, if, if you're in the zone, keep firing. And with his unselfishness and vision, Green, more often than not, is the one setting the tape. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game? Uh, Stance one. Listen, early on taking the league, I just like their approach offensively. I think their play calling has been exceptional. They've played with purpose and they've played with aggressiveness. Livingston is out there with McCaw and there's Iguodala. Then there's Demarcus Cousins and it's Bell in a power forward. So that's the group out there for Golden State. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Well, with all the turmoil in the Cavs' locker room last season, some wondered if head coach Teron Lue's job could be in jeopardy. Despite leading the team to its first championship in 2016, Lou, like a lot of coaches, finds that his future in the NBA is always subject to speculation. Kevin? All right, DA, thank you. And Jordan Clarkson is a player who is looking for his shot whenever he gets the ball. Can distribute enough, but it isn't his top priority. Very dangerous when left alone outside. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Channing Fries checked in for Zizic. And David Nwaba subbed in for Kyle Corbett.
throw good. Clarkson, and with Clarkson, as good as he is outside break, he prefers to shoot off the dribble than on the catch. Yeah, and it's why Clarkson gets labeled a, a high volume, low efficiency guy. Terrific on catch and shoot chances. I think if he played more towards his strengths, he could put together a career year. Here's McCall looking for his first basket still in this one. Stolen by Clarkson. And here's the fast break. Clarkson leading the way. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Well, Jordan Clarkson's handle has improved, and that allows that kind of move to happen. Livingston with it. He's picked up by Hill. Screened by Cousins. There's McCaw. And not sure what he was thinking there. Cavaliers have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Hill dishes to Clarkson. Down low. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Out of offense as Doris initiate that high pick and roll offense, which is so fun to watch. Which ball handlers do you want running that play for you if you were on the sideline? Come on now, there are some master manipulators in the pick and roll. Let's begin with the great James Harden. We'll begin with his teammate Chris Paul, Steph Curry. You give Steph Curry options to read in a pick and roll, he's going to make the right choice. There are a lot of guys who can manipulate the defense at a pick and roll, but those three are at the top of my list. The first free throw is good. Well, the Cleveland Cavaliers went to their fourth straight finals last season. To me, nothing short of remarkable. They had to fight their way through an improving Eastern Conference. And the reality is, the Warriors have more talent than everybody else, and that's why they win the NBA Finals. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Cousins. Thompson comes in for Patrick McCall. And Stephen Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. And the Cavaliers were strong doors, but ultimately were overmatched by the Warriors. And think about their journey to the finals, Kevin. In the East, they had two series go to seven games. LeBron James, think about how many years he has played basketball so deep into June. He had played 82 games in the regular season for the first time in his career. And the bottom line was the Warriors entered the season as the prohibitive favorites and ultimately end up champions. Durant's checked in for Golden State. Cleveland also making some changes. Kevin Love's checked in for Nance. Smith comes in for Jordan Clarkson. And it's Sexton in for George Hill. The Cavaliers shooting 47%, pretty solid. Sexton, the pass to Love. He kicks to Sexton. Back to Love. Hits it from three-point range. Love's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Well, Kevin Love specializes in finding the open space on the floor, pays off with a nice catch Sorry. and shoot. Timeout called the Warriors. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And the Cavaliers with possession here after the miss from Stephen Curry. Shot clock at six. Here's Sexton. Off target from outside. Warriors trail by three. Here's Durant. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. Well, certainly a disappointing result, but they'll live with the shot. Uh, you know, they'll take that every time. Sexton has to just keep developing his court awareness. You want to see more passing from him. And so here is Golden State following the score by Cleveland. Yeah, really frustrating right now. They just can't seem to stem the tide here. Nothing they're doing on the defensive end is working. They've got to figure something out and fast. Here's Mwaba. They set the pick. Here's Smith. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Thompson. 
the Cavaliers have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. free throw is good you know in this era of the golden state warriors it's easy to forget the lean years prior to this six-year run guys the last time they had made it to the playoffs four consecutive seasons 1952 looking at who's out there now for the cavaliers thompson comes in for channing fry and it's jenny osman in for david mwaba that one is no good Doris, the Warriors' six-year playoff run tying their record set in the first six years of the franchise's existence. That's when they were playing back in Philadelphia. And just to give you a little more context, only three of those seasons did they have a winning record. Make no mistake, this is the golden era of Warriors basketball. Sexton's shot is good. You know, not bashful about positioning himself inside. Sexton knows he has what it takes to score from there. Thompson against Smith. And Thompson kicks to Durant. Green, the screen. Durant using the pick. Basket counts. Boy, Kevin Durant just masterful using screens. Understands how to rub the defender off and get an easy opportunity. Pass to Smith. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the half. Passes to Osman. Over Durant. And too long on the shot. Warriors trail by four. From past the arc. That one doesn't drop. Hey, we're not seeing the best quarter by this guy. And he's lost his feel a little bit. Thompson sets the pick for Smith. Here's Osman. Carries it from three-point range. Osman's got himself on the board with three there. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Now here's Curry. Defense right on him. shot got him on the way up that time so he'll shoot two right here well we know Steph Curry is a lethal shooter I think the underplayed value that he has is his finishing ability at the rim he can get into the mid-range I mean you've got to guard this guy from every space on the floor as soon as he steps across the half court line now, gentlemen two shots loose shot First one falls for. What a family of shooters the Currys are. Dell, Seth, Steph, they can all shoot the lights out, but if they have a family three-point contest, I think I'd have to go with this man here. I think I'm going with Steph. Stephen Curry hits them both. Boy, it's just never a good idea to give this guy too many chances at the line. He's going to cash in. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. Leave one ahead, ending the second quarter with a huge surge, an 18-6 run. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. The 2K Sports Halftime Show.